Once we get 10 minutes. Okay, all right, all right, all right, okay, okay. Next, we want to show you a game we've been working on with our partners for a while now. Come World on. World War 3 is currently oh! an active development of the Farm 51. World War 3 is a Let's tactical go. FPS set against the backdrop of a modern global conflict. You did, Sam. Team up in online multiplayer modes to outgun and outflank your enemy in real locations and cities. The clouds of war are gathering over major world capitals like Warsaw, Berlin, and Moscow, and even the outskirts of Smolensk and the snowy streets of Polyarny. Customize your perfect okay. loadout from a huge weapon. Get arsenal. perky. Let's go, boys. Come on. Into the fight, shoot your way to victory. Let's take it one more swig. Vehicles and gadgets, drones, artillery, and airstrikes to seize the advantage. All right. We're not ready Back. to announce the release date. But <laughs> Hey, what is going on guys? Blue Robot here, and today I actually don't have some pretty good news for you. Not gonna lie, I'm just getting off a stream from my YouTube channel after watching the PAX East online event, and it was such a letdown, not gonna lie. I wanted to go ahead and make this video directly after it because we got zero info over at PAX East, anything new about World War III. I'm a little bit upset that we didn't get any interviews, any more context with the game for World War III, but at the end of the day, I'm also kind of glad that World War III was shown at PAX East, so hopefully people that didn't know about the game are learning about it now. But for the people that did know about the game and were riding that hype train all the way to the top, we literally just fell off the fucking roller coaster at this point. We literally sat there for four straight hours, me and my chat, for the longest time. And at first, it was just PowerPoint presentations and people just drawing cartoons, which I get it. It's Penny Arcade Expo. It's not really E3 or Xbox Showcase. But at the end of the day, it is what it is. So during that time, we decided to get on the old build of World War III, play some games with the subs, and go ahead and just have a fun time there. Once 2.30 rolled around, we were sitting there waiting for My.Games to showcase World War III, and all we got was 40 minutes of some cartoon game that I don't even remember the name of that probably could have been free to play on miniclip.com. Once the cartoon game was done, we got showcased Conqueror's Blade, and after that, we were pretty much losing hope. The time was running out. It was supposed to be ending at 3.30, and it was about 2.50 at that point, which means it only left five minutes for Warface and five minutes for World War III, which we thought World War III was going to be at the end. Of course, my predictions were some kind of open beta test date, something other than the same trailer we got just yesterday. Seriously, if you want to see it for yourself, go watch my stream right at the end of the, around the four hour mark. We literally got shown the same thing. All that hype, all that buildup just to be shown the same stuff, which I get it. If they're not ready, they're not ready. But at least tell us that you're not ready. No, I'm not going to lie. This isn't Farm 51 dropping the ball. This is my dot games dropping the ball. We should have gotten at least some other information, something new to keep us going until the next date, which maybe could be July 20th. We don't know yet for sure. Other than that, that's pretty much all I got for you today, guys. It was pretty much a letdown. I mean, I had a great stream, about 100 people that came into the chat, and I really do appreciate you guys. We're close to 1,300 subscribers right now at the current time of the recording, about 1299. So literally just one more. So again, if you like the video, go ahead and like the video, subscribe to the video. Stay tuned. There might be some more World War III news coming out. And as always, have a good one. Peace.